So why don't we start, guys? Should we show them a little bit more of our old, old Porsche month? Yeah, yeah, let's go for it. Um, let's go into the Forza Vista and, and take a look at this uh, 356 SL. This car is so beautiful. Um, and it's really special as well because this car is um, Porsche's first ever racing car. And they entered it into uh, Le Mans the same year that the car was made. Um, and it won, first time out. Um, One hit wonder. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well yeah. it was the beginning of the trend. More yeah, like. yeah, exactly. um, so yeah, uh, Porsche, they just made, started making the 356 um, uh, with a steel body, like mass producing it, and they got invited to uh, take part. Look at the dash. Nice, there we go. So yeah, not much in the way of uh, interior comforts, but um, that's it. I guess to make it the lighter, the better. The yeah, more that's you can, right. you know, take out yeah. the car, the that easier there, it's for racing. Uh, under the uh, in the passenger footwell there, that's the washer fluid, and there's a little fuel uh, secondary fuel pump there. Um, the washer fluid you had to pump by hand. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's no no fancy gadgetry uh, in uh, in these days. But yeah. Oh, a lovely little car. Yeah, let's take it out for a spin. I was about to say, someone's saying start it up and rev it. We'll, uh, we'll definitely <laughs> get onto that. Give us a second. Yeah, these cars were known for being like really lightweight and agile. Um, yeah, I imagine it was uh, pretty fun to drive this around a, around a track back in the day. And just look at it as well, it's beautiful. Right? Um, a lot of people consider this to be like the, the very beginning of Porsche, like the 356 being. They started uh, it all off, so yeah. the, the trend of it all. I mean, I think they did make a few prototypes before this. Um, Chris Harris had one on, on his YouTube series. Nice. Um, which was even before this. But yeah, the 356 was like the first uh, production, like, mass produced Porsche. So, yeah, nice. Probably a little yeah. car. Great I was about to say, quite comfortable. I'll not drive too far away from the beautiful Bank Castle because we'll go back there and port to this to. I say, we're going to check out well. some of the other ones. Yeah, exactly. See what else we've got to reveal for uh, everyone this week. Um, what do people want us to look at? Ooh. Should we, should we, should we, should we see what. Yeah, see. So, guys in chat, I know a few of you did actually guess uh, some of our Torben Tuesday Porsches. There was a few <laughs> lists going around. <laughs> And whilst we didn't really answer, a lot of them was correct. Is there anything specific that you think we might have that you want to take a look at that we could possibly get in? Um, we could show them what we've got available to try out. Yeah. Let's take a look at something. That's maybe the 917. See what there is. Oh, 917. That's not bad. Yeah. So what have we got a consensus one? <laughs> Someone saying show all the cars. <laughs> well, I mean. We'll, we'll go through all the. All, all, uh, I was about to say, let's see. The new there we go. Oh, oh we could get that. Zero, oh, okay. Everyone, everyone's oh, wondering yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. Of course it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 so a little bit into this one is as well. A lot of people were asking about obviously some of the designer names we had on the board and mm. also the pasta. Well, um, weirdly enough, obviously all related back to Italian, uh, Itali Italian, Italy, um, and that's what led to this this car alongside the uh, zero plus one. Very uh, <laughs> quick maths. Uh, yeah, the cryptic <laughs> yeah. clues. The cryptic clues. I, I must admit, a lot of people did guess that. Although some people were still sceptical about the pasta, because I think we did that as a red herring a few months ago. <laughs> but yeah, this did have some relevance this time. So, uh, so yes, yeah. this so, does yeah, stunning. So yeah, it's design. Um, yeah, they're a, they're a design house. Uh, they do product and automotive designs. Um, they're a subsidiary of Lamborghini. So underneath, this shares a lot of DNA with the Lamborghini Huracan and also the Audi uh, R8 with its V10 engine. Um, and you can totally tell, can't you? you can, this is like the most, most Lamborghini, not Lamborghini, I think I've yeah. ever seen. I was gonna say, it's like the most yeah. Italian car I've ever seen. And it's so <laughs> detailed and so streamlined. Yeah, I think, I think this appeared at uh, Geneva in like 2017, 2018. And it's, it's been at Goodwood and shown off a few places like that. I think there's only five of them, and they're worth like a million and a half pounds. Oh, wow. oh nice. Yeah. Just so, a little bit then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you can, you can sort of see why. Like the, the body is all made of um, carbon fiber. Um, I think, yeah, the car is actually wrapped uh, with that red uh, style that's going on there. I mean, look at the. I'd say all the intricate designs there. And the titanium yeah. tipped exhausts. Um, yeah, this is yeah. all designed here for maximum airflow to extract all of the 
the hot air away from the wheels, the rotors, uh, the tyres, and yeah, I think like, um, I'm not sure if I can get a good view through uh, Auto Vista, but the air goes in through the nose there, and then it goes out into a Y shape out here uh, and over the top of the car, so it produces some pretty amazing downforce. And it's, it's all-wheel drive, so it will just handle whatever you throw at it, basically. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head how much horsepower it is. I think it's over 600. So yeah, it's pretty rapid. Pretty power powerful. Yeah, I think it's high S1, light stock. Um, yeah, very fast, very, yeah, very much mm. like the Hurricane all-wheel drive. It handles really well. Um, I was saying, I'm very interested to see what crazy. tunes people create and, you know, how, yeah. what they uh, reveal with this car. And you can make this car really fast if you want to. We're going to drive off. it around. Look at that. Ooh, that dash. Yeah, dash is pretty, pretty <laughs> strange thing. I feel like you're just going to go straight into space. <laughs> like, that's your runway. All right, let's take it out for a quick spin. I was about to say, some people in chat are saying it looks pretty awesome. Everyone seems very, very happy with that one. Guys, uh, like I say, we are still listening to the cars that you, you do want in our game, so make sure you let us know on the forum. There is a wish list thread. Despite everyone's belief, we do actually look at that, so please uh, make sure to post all your, your feedback for what cars you're after in the, just so we can, you know, sort of correlate all the data and see what you guys want and uh, see, see what we uh, possibly in the future might be able to get into the game. This car does have a connection to Porsche. Uh, Ital Design, they've been around for quite a long time, since the mid-60s. And in the 70s, Ferdinand Pieck, who, is, uh, who, who was, I'm sorry to say, passed away a couple of days ago, um, uh, he'd been the chairman of uh, the Volkswagen Audi Group, but um, he, uh, he did an internship um, at Vital Design oh, wow. in, the, in the 1970s. Okay. So That's like yeah, got really... straight, that got him, started him off in his uh, <laughs> yeah. car career. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Pretty cool. Yeah, incredible looking car. So so detailed, so many little tiny lines and intakes and yeah, super awesome. Alright, let's uh, change the next car. Whoops, I was about button. to say, what other cars have we got left to? Well, I've got the 917. Yeah. Nice. I think a few people did ask for that in uh, in the chat. Yeah, so it's like a new back. version of the 917 that we've not had? Well, there's, uh, yeah, we haven't had this particular version because um, there are a lot of flavors of the 917. Um, and the reason is because in, um, oh, hang on, sorry, I need to filter yep. so I can find it. Here it is. Uh, yep. um, yeah, in, a, in 1969, when the 917 was first developed, um, aerodynamics as they applied to racing cars was still quite poorly understood. Um, so yeah, in 1969, the first version of the car was quite unstable at speed, they found, when they were racing it. Um, and so they, they made lots of different shapes. Uh, there was the short tail, this is the long tail, and there was various um, versions in between as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, as you can see with this amazing like psychedelic um, paint scheme oh, on it. Yeah. The doors are crazy. I was about, I was about to say, say how do you get in? <laughs> I'm not uh, like, with difficulty. You have to step over the body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, not built for comfort, these cars. No. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> Start it up. Mm. I love these cars. Mm. Just, uh, just... Yeah, they're so specialised, built for just the task that they can do and that's it. And yeah. But extremely good at it. I think, like I was saying, that, that period of time where a lot of uh, technology was evolving very quickly, but they didn't really understand it uh, in, a, in a lot of ways, like the aerodynamics. Just made um, a lot of like, really interesting experimental designs uh, appear in, in that era. I mean, yeah, yeah just the, these amazing like flowing curves over uh, the bodywork of this car and how low to the ground it is. And you also notice like the seating position is so far forward, your feet are actually in front of the, the, uh, the front axle there. Yeah. Um, yeah, racing cars back then were just so varied in shape is one of the mm. things I really like about them. There's, you know, you can find so many interesting ones, whereas modern race cars, it's kind of like the aerodynamics have been figured out now. Yeah. Like, people know the optimal shape, and so they look a lot more similar, but back then, 
Yeah, and it didn't look yeah, like curvy. That's it. They just wanted to be the first but person to beat, you know, beat their competitors in a way that you know they reach their first. They figure out the, the dynamics and the, the physics mm -hmm. and the shapes. Yeah, there was no technology for like uh, dynamic aero parts on cars like this. Alright, so what, what was next? Uh, is that all our cars? Have we got, got any more? No, we've got, we got a couple more. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, there's the 906. I was about to say, keep going. I mean, yeah, it is all the month, but I didn't... All, the, all these Porsches. Just too many just, Porsches. Just keep yeah. going. Just, just fire them all Not out. Not too many Porsches. <laughs> <laughs> no such thing. Okay. Um, um, see what else we've got for, for the guys to yeah. show them. Let's see. Yeah, so there's the 906. That's uh, yeah, uh, And the 718 came in. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we've got two more to go. So this is 50% on the series as a whole, I think. Yeah. Yep. So. Uh, and this car, Ferdinand Pieck designed this when he was just 28 years old. What? Oh, nice. So it was like his first project when he came to work for Porsche. He is the, the grandson of um, yeah. Ferdinand Porsche. Um, so yeah, he basically had the task of uh, improving the already very successful 904, I think it was. Um, and that car had won loads of races, so he had you know, big shoes to fill. Um, so the way he set about making this was just make it lighter. Uh, the 904 had like a steel body, whereas this is fiberglass. Uh, it's got like a space frame uh, chassis underneath. And yeah, he, he succeeded because this car is like only 1,200 pounds. It was like 250 wow. pound lighter than, than its predecessor. Um, so yeah, it's very, very lightweight. Um, I think it's got the classic Porsche flat six engine in there. Wow. Um, look at that. Yeah, it looks <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it's so Heck long. Of an engine. I guess yeah. People can probably, can probably do some pretty crazy things with this, with tuning it. Yeah. Yeah. There's basically nothing in there other <laughs> yeah. than the engine. It's, uh... Yeah, it's an engine on wheels, the best kind of car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How cool is that? I was about to say, that's yeah. really nice. So yeah, you can look forward to um, hot lapping this around um, Hollywood Park Circuit in the yeah. monthly rivals event as well. Yeah, that'd be a really good one. I was about to say we'll have to see what sort of uh, times that everyone comes up with and see mm. if we can, mm -hmm. you know, get any get any competitions going. Maybe see who can get the top top speed in this. What speed time? Yeah, you always try and get top ten percent in all the monthly rivals. It's really fun to try and like see what other people in the office have done and try and beat them and be the Oh, I get competitive, I only did it once. I was like, <laughs> I can't do that again, because I got really, I spent forever trying to like beat someone. I think it was probably you. <laughs> uh, I, I finally got, I got down to it, and I think I was just trying, kept going and kept going and just couldn't do it, and I was like, ah, give yeah, up on my, this, fine, my, you win. You, you always put in good times on the yeah. leaderboards. Yeah. But this, this, this one new guy, this new producer, he's like way too good. He just like destroys us all. Oh, that's <laughs> it. It's, it's gotta get like, good. Yeah, like... no, not actually good. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Really, really cool car. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I look forward to getting hold of this myself. And um, last but not least, we've got the 718, uh, the Porsche. I think we've got the Cayman version. It's got the roof on it. I didn't actually know, know until quite recently that the, the Cayman and the Boxster are the same car, just with or without a roof. I don't know why I'd never like join those dots. <laughs> um, yeah. There you go. Very nice to turn. Ah, there you go. It's about to say, nice location too, castle. There we go. Mm -hmm. Don't forget guys, I do know some people have been asking in chat as well. The update will be live tomorrow. Uh, we'll be rolling out to players, so just bear in mind, keep an eye on your Xbox, check out your updates, and it uh, should be uh, coming out soon. Because I know a few people yeah. were asking, so I thought I'd just re-mention that. So last but not least, we've got a more modern yeah, this, we've been kind of going through the years here. Um, although we did do the 1971s one yeah. before 1966. Almost. <laughs> yeah, almost, almost in order. Yeah. I was about to say, um, they were the years that we, we put up on the Torben Tuesday whiteboard, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so all the years they did re uh, relate to the, each Porsche car, which, like I say, a, f a few of you guys did get it. So, um, but yeah, I think that was like medium level. We tend to put a bit like some easy ones, <laughs> yeah. some hard ones. Uh, I know a few people are asking about the dots. Uh, yeah, you'll find out about that. <laughs> yeah. um, I was trying to think what else. Have we covered most of the board, actually? I think, I think we so. do, other than the, the red herons and yeah. the little, uh, the rocket little bits. The rocket chickens, because he doesn't want fast chickens anyway. <laughs> um, chickens are pretty fast, they're not getting I'm about to say, I have run over one once, though, yeah, uh, by accident. But but I think it was before it's we... hard. Harder yeah. than it is in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I haven't really gone round to running yeah. over chickens in real life, but... 
you know, unless you have, I mean, if that's what you do at the weekend, well, and you know, fair I, enough. A lot of my friends, they had too many chickens. Back <laughs> let's, in the let's, let's move on. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, the, 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 uh, the Porsche 718. The, the number 718, that has been revived from the classic car back in the 60s um, because this car has a flat four. Uh, and the Carrera and the Boxster, they typically had a flat six. Um, but um, the, the 718 of old, uh, Porsche kind of wanted to evoke memories of how successful that car was, even though it had a smaller engine. Uh, it defeated and outperformed cars with bigger engines. So, you know, it kind of follows a, a, a trend that we see in, in modern, uh, modern car design is that they try and do more with a smaller engine. So it's got the flat four with a turbocharger. I think it even has something called um, variable turbine geometry where the turbo actually changes depending on RPM to uh, make sure you get maximum gas flowing through it no matter what the RPM. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is like packed with very high performance modern technology and, and uh, yeah let's uh, let's jump in it give this a little bit of a spin Ooh, I like the interior sounds good yeah it's yeah it's a good looking modern Porsche it's pretty nice yeah, yeah. Glad that we're adding all the different variety of cars into the game, like new and old, and they're also different. There we go. Cool. So we can drive this over to whatever we're going to do next. I think we're going to. Ah, play. so next is the community routes. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we're going to check out those community routes which you guys have been uh, sending in. For those that don't know as well, definitely check out our Discord. Uh, whilst you can send them on our Twitter, forums, uh, all the other locations, Reddit, you name it, we do check it. So, but most, uh, the best place is probably actually the Root Creator. We have a specific channel in our Discord, which should hopefully be posted in chat. I think it's aka.ms slash Forza Discord. And join a lot of people there. Um, we've got quite a few of the community members. They kind of, it's really nice how they all get together. And a bunch of them, they always help each other too, which is what we want to to show you guys is that, you know, we want that to happen. We want you to try each other's routes out, try and help each other, you know, be like, hey, what about this? What about that? And uh, we'll get a bit more onto that later on with, as you see, we've got the checkpoint uh, editor coming up. Uh, so we'll give you a bit more information on that. But if you do have any routes, please uh, feel free to put them in there. We do have a bunch of devs in there, which actually specifically look in that channel, especially when they try and find community routes like the mm. one we're about to show you. Um, I don't know if he's in chat. I do want to shout out. There's, there's two people I 